Jimmy, huge congratulations. You've just signed your first professional contract. How are you feeling first and foremost? Yeah, I'm over the moon, you know. Playing football for, as a youngster, you know, with my mates on the park, to going through grassroots football and then academy football, to finally sign my first professional contract is a dream come true. You first burst onto the scene here, didn't you, in a reserve match in March when you scored four goals against Port Vale? Yeah, that was a great game for me. It really boosted my confidence. I played in a few reserve games and I think I impressed the old manager quite a lot. Um, but I think that game really helped me to get up with the first team. I remember scoring the first one and then I, th I felt quite like proud of myself because I scored for the reserves. And then the second goal went in and the third, and I just... I just thought I didn't really know what was going off, and then the fourth, and then, yeah, it was a great game for me. It led, didn't it, to a call-up for the first team soon after, because you were with the squad that went down to Exeter, as I recall, and you even got a place on the bench. Yeah, that was that was something special. I remember, I remember telling my dad I was on the bench for the first team, and he was just, he was over the moon, you know, he's helped me throughout the years, and for that to finally, to be with the first team, it was just... Yeah, it was a dream come true. Tell us about that experience, because you happened to be on the, the longest away trip of the season, so you got the full first team away package, if you like. Yeah, it was, it was a great experience, you know, travelling down with the first team at such a young age. Um, I really enjoyed it, and all the boys made me feel welcome. And since then, perhaps some may have predicted to see you actually get on the, on the turf in a first team shirt. Yeah, I think I was quite quite unlucky really. I got a, an injury just before the Cambridge game at home and I think that really set me back and I was out for a few weeks through that and through illness. So I didn't really get a chance to, to get on the pitch and show the fans what I can do. What can you do? Uh, I think I can excite the fans with, I've got good speed and I also like getting the ball at my feet and dribbling past defenders. But I think my main attribute is scoring goals. Which is handy as a striker. <laughs> yeah, very handy. <laughs> what type of front man are you there for? Um, I like to run in behind and cause problems for defenders, but I also like to come short to feet and get at defenders with my good dribbling and my pace. When you're with the first team on a day-to-day -day basis, does it raise your own personal standards? Yeah, definitely. Um, I remember the first few training sessions and I just... I was doing things that I didn't, I didn't know I was capable of, because all the, all the boys are, you know, the good players, um, so they raised my standards even more, and it was just, I felt like I'm, I'm progressing as a player, playing with better players. What are your personal targets now heading into the new season? Um, I think I'd like to have a good pre-season, um, hopefully get some minutes, on the pitch, and then, see where that takes me. But I'd, I'd like to make my debut and hopefully score a goal.